What's going on guys, VigBP back with another Game Case Arcades video. This one is very special. The reason why I call my little arcade side gig the Game Case Arcades is this right here. The Game Case, the portable arcade. So we got an eBay order in. You will find my little side shop on eBay. eBay order came in. Game case arcade wanted one terabyte laptop and the biggest secret I've been holding for about the past I would say six months is I have now created an external four terabyte hard drive and this will be the first customer that's ever gonna get it ladies and gentlemen the five terabyte game case arcades so again guys this is it the game case arcades my first original idea of basically taking the arcade nostalgia and literally bringing it to a portable anywhere you wanted to go kind of setup uh this one's pretty unique actually never tried this before the customer i believe the name on ebay was like simp we're gonna call it the simp simp's uh portable arcade uh, Simp wanted a light blue. I've never done this before. This is the first time ever, but I did wrap The control panel on this with a carbon fiber light blue pretty nice I never did a wrap before I do have to kind of clean up my edges a little bit But all in all right now, this is the beginning phase literally wood cut and none of the buttons are wired yet We put the wires uh, the buttons in again game uh, game room solutions button set up on this white and blue joysticks again Freely, it works. Again, the biggest thing that we like is that you don't have to take the ball top off of this. This will close with the laptop in it. This will close. Right now, it's a little tight because I do have to kind of trim it down. But even with this right now, laptop in, no BS. This is in. I'm able to literally take this right now on the go, laptop in it, controller, the ball tops are in it, no dents, no flex. Again, one two and you're up ladies and gentlemen the game case the portable arcade now again this is a long time i mean i literally done this maybe about four years ago i'm just so proud of it it's awesome i've sold maybe about i would say good this is probably like gonna be the 20th one i've sent out um again i do tell people you have to message me before you buy it now please let me know your button colors that you want basically almost like our arcade one up setup you got your six player ones player two we have also up top here the start, select, load, and go. Start, select, save, and exit. So it's almost the exact same thing. 20 button configuration all inside this case. The biggest thing that some people, I actually got to, I'll never forget this comment. Never forget it, story time. Got him at, I posted the video. There's a whole, like, you'll see the whole promo. It's nuts, right? It was Christmas time because it's a Christmas song I put up with, like, the rock song. And a guy messaged me and said, what's so great? about putting a laptop on a suitcase like why why what makes this awesome like why i'm gonna tell you right now i forever love hyperspin i would rather do a hyperspin build over a hyperpi build any day anytime that you could actually use a laptop i strongly suggest it i personally like computer-based systems because when you are using a computer you got more than just your regular nes snes and all that i mean i'm talking about this and again my little secret this is not a gaming laptop. You don't need a gaming laptop to run hyperspin and to run emulation, okay? This right here is your bottom line. i3, eight gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, Dell. I got this from Micro Center, I'll even post a link, 280 bucks. That is the cheapest that you could get with this. This right here in my hand, one terabyte of data. Now here's the catch though, because somebody noticed it. Inside this, it's only about 12,000 games. Vic, your HyperPi does 16,000 games. I get that, listen very carefully. This will play your Super Nintendo. This will play your NES. But this also plays your GameCube. Uh, this also is gonna play PC games. I got Street Fighter V running on this. I mean, this is gonna take more. It, it, this will give you more graphic intense games than what a HyperPi will do. So yes, you are lower on games. Again, this is a one terabyte in my hand, but Remember what I said in the beginning of this video, we have a four terabyte external hard drive that I'm making. It's almost complete. 
We added PlayStation 2 onto that thing. We added the Wii, I added the Wii U. It is nuts. I'm telling you right now, it is nuts. I'm so proud of it. And this customer is gonna be the first one to experience it. Again, this was what got me started. This right here, before it went into like a whole uh, retrofitting a Miss Pac-Man machine to run uh, MAM Arcade, this is how it all started for me. And that's why I get so hyped and I get so excited. Always trying to add to it. Again, I never did a rap, I never did a vinyl rap, but everybody on the RK one up forums are doing these raps. I was like, is it that easy? The biggest thing is, yes, you do need a good piece of wood. This is a um, sanded birch that we are using, uh, three quarter inch thick. Um, again, I'm not gonna go into details about where I got the case from, because that's my secret. But again, this is a two player art. Literally, I'm, we play two players on this and all that. Again, going back to the guy that, that, that wrote the comment that I'll never forget. What's so special about a laptop? Like, I, somebody said to me, why can't you put the screen here? It's a good idea, but the main idea with this is it's supposed to be portable. I don't want to plug it in. This literally doesn't need a plug. The only thing that you plug in is the laptop to charge it. Right now, my laptop is charged, so I could literally just push the button and it'll boot up and all that. So right now, this is my screen. I am using the laptop as my screen, 15 inch screen. I mean, it's plenty enough for you to just game all together. Again, our laptop is right here. I have enough of a bend to actually see everything. I can even pull it up a little bit. My laptop does come over the buttons just a little bit, a little bit of a hair, but nothing crazy. But you can still get into it. Again, it is a laptop-based system running Hyperspin. Got it right now. We're, we're, right now, my, my Zinmo is not connected right now. So it's there, but it's not there. I'm going to at least load up the laptop this week to kind of see it. But again, I get so excited when I do this one because it's just amazing. This right here is literally, with all the testing I've done, this is the closest I could get my buttons to the edge. Can't get it any more closer. I could have probably bought the buttons down a little bit, but I did want a little bit of room. Uh, right now, again, the, the hinges are pretty new on it, so they will kind of tilt back a little bit. But for right now, this is set. Also, the way we have the control panel, I also give you two Xbox 360 controllers. For example, playing the Nintendo GameCube, the PS2, you can't play arcade joysticks with those. So I do have my pre-slided things, all handmade, like this is all hand, I don't have a CNC machine. Two Xbox controllers will fit right here and the laptop battery fits right here. Again, I don't have this really configured correctly, but basically you go into it, you let it boot up. Again, keep in mind, it is a low end laptop. So it does take about, I would say, a good maybe two to three minutes of it booting up. And then once, you know, you kind of wait for the loading sign and all that. Again, I'm doing this live. I'm not going to cut this. But basically, once you're ready, you go into it. You press the Hyperspin logo. And basically, it'll boot up. This right now is going to be looking for, like, PS2, which I don't have the external hard drive in right now. Uh, we're still trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to put that. I'm thinking about leaving this here and putting the drive here. It is literally a four terabyte um, Western Digital um, hard drive. Let that boot up. Now also keep in mind, you know, it is portable. If you do have the laptop plugged in, some people say to me, Vic, like, can you get a low end laptop to make hyperspin work? You can. If you keep it plugged in, it's so much faster. You might as well keep the laptop plugged in if you can. I'm gonna raise up my volume because I do play with this at night. So keep in mind that this is all going through like, I'm talking like with the external hard drive, I think it's gonna hit about 13,000 games. Again, now also keep in mind with this, this is the best part with this. This, also, this, is, this will play Atari and all that, but the biggest thing, I'm gonna lower this, it's loud. I mean, we are using the laptop speakers. I'm not, it's not, it was literally on three. If I do five, 14, pretty, pretty adequate right there. It's, it's, it's pretty nice sound, right? So the other big thing I like about my laptop build is that this will also play pinball. I love seeing like the RK one up guys like, oh, how do I get Piper Pie to work with pinball? You won't. Pinball is a executable file. We got visual pinball, we got future pinball. So you got arcades and you also have pinball with this. It is intent. Also, keep in mind, again, I like to save money and I also have to resell these things, so I buy cheap stuff. This laptop can play Grand Theft Auto V with external, so it's bottlenecking Grand Theft Auto V and it still works. That's what's amazing about it. Again, real quick, just to show you, it's got even PSP, graphic intense PSP. I'm talking 
God of War PSP, PlayStation 2 God of War, graphic intense stuff. This is it. Now also the big plus side to my little bit, let me just show you real quick. Let me find it. So now again, the craziest thing about this thing is that it will play PC games. Right now I don't have it set to read the four terabytes, so it's missing a, mo a lot of games really, such as for example, like Grand Theft Auto. Um, the Grand Theft Auto I have here is like Vice City, San Andreas. Cuphead, I mean this thing plays a lot of things. The most recent one on this, again, I have, the way I set this up was that you could do either the regular laptop or pay an extra $100 and I'll give you the four terabyte um, external to make it five terabytes in total. Uh, for example, the most highest intense game on this one, uh, yeah, NBA, NBA Playgrounds 2, um, basically old school NBA Jam. Um, also plays old school Roller Coaster Tycoon. I try to make games I try to put games that like everybody can enjoy. So you got your simulators, you got like your roller coaster tycoon, like one and two, like original roller coaster tycoon. Like that's awesome. Um, again, this will also play pinball. So we're talking pinball FX2, pinball FX3. You got the whole virtual pinball, visual pinball, the Nintendo Wii, it's the GameCube. I mean, again, if you want like a low end, like even if you're trying to build your own hyperspin, this right here is the best way, your low end. Now also a lot of people don't understand with Hyperspin is that there's video files, Hyperspin is your front end. That's the front end. That's what makes this whole thing look beautiful. Everything inside Hyperspin takes up space though. So if you want like your logos, if you want the video file, that takes up a lot of space. So I'm the type where I think you want more games than the video file. So for example, my Nintendo GameCube, again, this is still in like fix up mode. I'm gonna remove the background for the video. No videos on this. We're basically just gonna show the logos. Again, you tell me, would you rather have 10 games and all 10 one minute video clips for Hyperspin? Or would you rather have 50 games and zero videos? Literally, it's that much of a difference. It's not one or two games, it's a lot of games. So again, really the ones I put the videos on. And then I put the videos on for really like arcade. Cause you know, there's a couple of arcade games that you don't really notice by name. But once you go into the arcade, my arcade classics, arcade classics will have like the video to it set. Also the biggest thing we're going to put in George's arcade, George, I'm coming back to you, but I'm telling you now we're putting this in it. This man arcade is a little bit more sophisticated. I'm talking cruising world. I'm talking uh, area 51 shooting games, time crisis. This will play it. You can't find that on a hyper pie. You will, but it won't run it. Again, real quick, the game case, the portable arcade, still again inside of the whole pre-production. Um, still playing around with the wrap. Kind of like the wrap, it's a pretty cool wrap. Kind of happy with it, and there you have it. Now again, I did make a whole video about if you wanted to buy like a hyperspin drive, if you buy one of the eBay hyperspin drives. Those are difficult uh, because again, some people don't really know how to code it and know how to do it, but this right here is my personal drive. I've spent literally about, I would say two years and it, I keep updating it. The most frequent one now is like, you know, the Wii U emulator got a little bit better. Nintendo Switch emulator is coming out. That's still a little finicky, but right now I've got a couple of Wii U games that work on this. There you have it. Somebody asked me, Vic, how did you come up with game case arcades? What does that mean? That's it right there. The game case, the portable arcade. Again, uh, as far as modifying a couple more modifications to this, this does have a very nice little um, foam egg crate. So really that's why the screen's not all the way back. The screen really does, should go back all the way to here. Basically I kind of trim this down. I do take a sander and I trim all this down. This way the screen should look just like that. Nice tilted, hyper spin, a track mode. Again, when it comes to arcades and PC build, I, I know my stuff. <laughs> I build arcades, ladies and gentlemen. Vic VP, the game case, the portable arcade. It's awesome. It's it's literally awesome. Like joysticks freely, nothing rubbing. That's just how I do it. It took me a long time to configure it, and you gotta love it.